Um, how many? How many of you had just recently heard about tapping by itself, acupressure? Like, pretty much. Yeah, it's kind of different, isn't that right? Kind of strange. Um, it does work, and that's the nice thing about it. And there is a system to why it works. Because remember earlier I said, well, the reason why we have problems is because of perception, and perception produces feelings in the body. All right. Now, the feelings in the body, again, as I mentioned before, it is the organs responding to the mind. All right. Whatever you have in your mind. And, of course, it's really the stressed reaction. And the stressed reaction is the body, the unconscious mind, telling the body to respond because it perceives a threat. Now, the body basically is the servant of the mind, but the mind is the body, the body is the mind. It's one piece. And of course, the mind is what generates it and creates it within the body to make it feel as if it were real. And so what it does, it uses the meridian system, which, by the way, the meridian system, they're there. I mean, there's not a belief system. I mean, that you can believe that they're there or not, but it is still there. And they injected radioactive dyes into the points and they can see that their channels are really there. Different points. And so they are there. It's mechanical. And so the Chinese had discovered the meridian system centuries ago. Who knows how long? How did they discover it? We don't know how. But we do know scientifically they're there. And so I bought the course in 1999, Gary Craig's EMO Free dot com you can go you can download his manual of course his system and my systems are different i have a different belief system and of course his belief system is the reason why we have problems is that there's a disruption in your energy system in your body all right it's kind of like you put a, a screwdriver in your tv this is what he says screwdriver tv whirl it around and when you turn the tv on there's a <laughs> something's broken inside the tv not working correctly well that i don't I don't believe that. I believe that we are perfectly designed. I think we're working perfectly based on what we have recorded within our mind, within our lives, and that's why we have problems. Again, we talk about problems. Problems are produced. It's a perception. And what makes the problem feel as if it were real is the organs responding to what you perceive. Of course, perception is developed from birth. You know, uh, and it's the fight or flight response. Of course, of course the fight or flight response is uh, you and I, were sitting around the campfire, and the camp ranger comes up and says, Hey, you know, there's a, there's a horrible, horrible mean bear just killing people right and left, horrible screams, a little girl down the street, she's still crying because of what happened to her mother. And then for some reason, we still find ourselves in the woods, and we walk upon this big bear. Inside of our body, our perception is going to be a whole lot different, wouldn't it? It'd say, Oh, shoot, let's get the heck out of Dodge. Isn't that right? And it just happens like this, boom, unconsciously, automatically. But if you don't know what a bear is, you never heard the story, and you're walking through the same woods, your reaction will be different. What is that? Cute, cuddly, interesting. Isn't that right? Again, perception. So what makes it real or feel real is the organs. And so basically, the meridian points, bladder, gallbladder, stomach, kidneys, when you grab the wrist, you hit the lungs, large intestine, circulation, heart, small intestine. You do not have to know these points. You don't even have to know what they are or where they are or why they're there. All you really have to know to allow it to work is to do a couple of things. And that is, first of all, in order to change a problem, one, you got to notice you have a problem. Okay. So first... In order to change a problem, you've got to know that you have a problem. Isn't that true? All right, so first, problem. All right, you have a problem, and how do you know you have a problem? One, you feel something. Isn't that right? You have a reaction, so you feel it. Something is occurring inside you. In order to create a change with this problem, first of all, you've got to know you have a problem. Secondly, you've got to know how you know you have the problem. Internally, you represent it. You feel it. Something is occurring. Now, with this problem, not only do you feel it, but you also may have images. You may also have sensations. 
and you may also have sounds, voices. All right, so you feel it, and it's a byproduct of whatever it is that you have within you, okay? In order to change the problem, one, you notice you have it. Secondly, what we do is we tap. All right, so you tap. All right, where do you tap? Very simple. First of all, you notice that you have it, you feel it. Notice how you know. You may be looking at something in your mind. You may be hearing something in your head. You may be feeling a cer certain sensation. You do not have to know what the feeling is. You don't have to know what the emotion is. All you have to know is how you know you have it. I feel it right here. It's like a big ball of something. I have anger. If you know if it's anger, then feel the anger. If you know it's a tightness, feel the tightness. If it's a heaviness across your shoulders, feel the heaviness. Notice how you know. Second, then we tap. What do you say when you tap? Very simple. Let it go. 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 Take a deep breath. Blow it out. Say peace. All right? So what do you say? Let it go. Let it go. And you can throw in it's safe to let it go. Okay? Let it go. Let it go. It's safe to let it go. I'm safe. Let it go. Then what you do after you tap, all right, I'm going to put in here, we're going to say let it go. All right? And, of course, as you're tapping, you tap on all the points. It's safe to let it go. And then you tap on all the points. Now, the points are very simple. Between the eyes, basically above the thighs, you can hit right between the eyebrows. Right in here is fine. Beside your eye, either side, it doesn't matter which. How many times you tap? Well, a couple of times. If you want to do your age, 47 times, whatever you want to do. <laughs> Under the eye, let it go. Let it go. Now, the collarbone point is like a half inch under your collarbone. I'm going to call it the necklace point. Well, your necklace would hang. Let it go. Then you grab your wrist. You hit the top side, bottom side, just like this. You can slap it, too. If you like slapping it, it feel, to me, it feels better when you slap it. It works either way. You take a deep breath. You blow it out, and you say peace. All right? You tap all the points. All right? And then what you will do, you'll take a deep breath. And peace, right? All right, then after you feel it, you did all this stuff, then what you do is you go right back up here and you check it. You check and see if it's gone. If it isn't gone, what do you do? do you do it again. What do you say? Let it go, let it go. It's safe to let it go. It's okay, let it go. I'm letting it go. Let it go, let it go. Let it go, deep breath, blow it out, and peace. And you may want to stop into a memory, a peaceful memory. It's okay. Then you go back and you check it again. Is it gone? If it isn't gone, what do you do? You go kill the person who ever did it. You go beat them up. No. You tap on it, you tap on it, you tap on it. Now whose problem is this? yours. All right, you keep tapping, you keep tapping until you get completely at peace with it. So let's say you have a memory and you're tapping on this experience and you tap it down where it doesn't bother you. Then what you do is you take this memory and you change it to where it feels good. You change the meaning of it. You make it, instead of your father saying this, he says this now. Instead of them doing that, they're doing this now that makes you feel good. Does that make sense? So at the bottom, when you're completely done, you change the meaning. Change how you see it inside you. Now, guys, here's the real deal. You can't change what really happened in the past. You can only change how you represent what happens in the past. It's not your job to try to uphold, maintain what happened a long time ago. You're going to be working your tail off trying to get everybody to believe what you believe to be true. Let go of the past change the meaning because if you change how you represent your past somebody will really begin to start changing do you hear what I'm saying 
change how you see it. As you change how you see it, you will begin to change in a more profound, positive way. Does that make sense? It's so important. It's so valuable. All right, so let me go back over it again. Identify the problem. I'm really pissed. I feel a tightness. I'm so angry. I feel frustrated. Then what you do is you just notice how you know you have it. I feel it. Where do you feel it at? Is it something you're seeing? Is it something you're hearing? Is it a sensation? What are you doing in your mind? Notice it. And you may notice how strong it is. Oh, it's really like a, if you want to rate it, zero to ten. From zero, not at all, ten really strong, it's a ten. You can do a number system. And then you tap all the points. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Deep breath. Blow it out. Peace. And feel that peace. Matter of fact, when you get to the peace, remember a peaceful moment. Make it feel good for you. Then you go right back up. And you check it, see if it's still there. If it isn't there, you quit. You go back to this down here, and you change the meaning of the memory. Make it peaceful. Okay? Then when you get done with all that, and you made it peaceful, then what we want to do is one more thing. Go back up here and see if you can make it come back. Do you hear what I said? You've already went through this several times. You made peace and you changed the meaning of it. The question is, can you make it come back? Yeah. And if you can't, good job. If you can, guess what? Do it all again. Over and over again until you create complete inner peace. Now, what happens if it takes you all day? It takes you all day. At least you'll feel better when it's, when it's all over with. <laughs> How many times do you tap? Till it's gone. As many as it takes. 47. And, uh, 47. <laughs> you tap until it's gone or until you pass out. When you wake up, it will be a better world for you. I promise you that. Because what you're doing is, first of all, you're taking ownership of what you have within you and you're manifesting and producing more peace inside you and here's the craziest part if perception is merely projection when you change perception what you perceive out there will begin to change too do you hear what I'm saying because you're taking you with you and all your perception so if you change your perception your world begins to shift and change I told you about my older son, and my old, younger son has it too, by the way. And so does my daughter, and so do I, and so do you. You know, of course, back when I was younger, I had, I had problems. I mean, I was working on myself, you know, I was no saint, and I'm, not no, I'm no saint now either, by the way. My horns do show up occasionally. Not often. Sometimes I tap on them, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I do tap on it. But... My, my younger son, my older son, he, uh, he's, I mean, he interacted, with, I interacted with him in an unhealthy way. He has issues with me, which is really his issues now. And he has a job, and, this, and this, the lady, she says, Dad, she's just so controlling. I just can't wait to get out of this job. And, you know, she's and all this other stuff. And he, he, he quits this job, and he goes works for a bank. He's working at Lowe's, and now he's working at Mid First. He's working there, and guess what? The same character, different name, different color of eyes, same feeling he feels. Okay? He quits the job. Now he's at a new bank. You always have a boss. But it's our reaction to them. Now, see, the deal is, if you change how you perceive it, then all of a sudden the world changes. And the only way you change how you perceive it is you go inside your mind your references, your heart, and your world, and you start changing it. And this is how you find your problems. If you don't have any memories, go to family reunions. <laughs> I promise you, all your stuff will show up. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? All whose stuff shows up? Your stuff. Your stuff. So that's a golden opportunity to heal you. Go visit those people. 
in your mind or in real life, you will find those people at your job. You will find the same emotional situation that you have within your work environment. The guy who's always angry about how he doesn't have any money and how he's always controlled by the boss or whatever, and you go back to his home and guess what? He had a dad just like his money situation. He's taken his father and his attitudes to, jo to his job. And I discovered this by working with my ex-wife or my wife at the time. She was working at one job and she went to another job. And I noticed her attitude and also was working with one emotional event that had a big impact in her life. And we're tapping on this. And I noticed something interesting. I said, you know, this person that had affected you in this negative way, how do you feel about it? So I started writing this list. And then later on, I said, hey, you know this person at your work, your best friend who went with you to this new job with you, how do you feel about her? I took both the lists and set them side by side. They said exactly the same thing. Because perception is merely projection. She saw the world the same way she's always saw the world. And she probably saw me the same way too. And she'll see her money situations the same way. So harmonic wealth is creating harmony in all areas of your life. And how do you do that? You start working on all of them at the same time. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> but I will tell you this. When you're stressed, you're not what? Breathing. Breathing. You're not breathing from a deep breath. By the way, guys, this system right here is addressing internally how you represent problems. Okay? All right, now the breathing. Now, there's a little trick that I'm doing right here. It's not a trick, but it's a, it's a conscious, unconscious program. All right, this is, this is the deal. A problem, seemingly problem, is really a hypnotic state. All right, I want you to understand what I'm saying. It's really a trance. It's a deep trance sometimes for some of you. All right. And what I mean by deep trance is because, see, the unconscious has recorded all this information and it's going to start producing something. And it produces this seemingly problem which is developed based on your past and manifesting and producing what you know how to produce based on what you recorded. And all of a sudden, the bell will ring and the dogs are slobbering. Okay? Conditioning. So here it is. The problem is the bell ringing and you're the dog. Slobbering without even knowing why you slobber. Does that make sense? So this is a trance. All right? Now when we're, we're tapping, what we're doing is actually changing the hypnotic state. And we're giving this state a new state, which will be the state of peace. Do you hear what I'm saying? All right? Now the state of peace by itself is also another what? Trance. Which, by the way, if you have more peace in your life, guess what happens? You live longer. You're healthier. You make decisions based on cognitive understanding instead of emotional craziness. Not being stressed. Not being stressed. Because see, if you're stressed, here's the deal. If you're stressed out and you get all these bad references and you make a decision nine times out of ten while you're stressed in all your decisions, you're going to make a what? Okay. Bad decision. And you know why? Because it's based on all the references you have right here. And the more you make decisions while you're feeling bad, your references are bad, you're going to produce what? More bad decisions. Does that make sense? So what you do is you clear out the negativity. As you clean up the negativity and you get down to here and you have peace, when you make a decision with your references are good, guess what happens? Better decisions. Make sense? It goes back to changing what? Feelings, the trance, perceptions, and it gives you personal power and control. This is very, very powerful. So what you can do with your peace, remember I said, guys, tap it all the way down to peace and remember a peaceful moment. And then what you're doing is you're still adding to your trance and also empowering your life. All right? This is the key. Now, for example, if you're in a class, if you're in, at work, and you don't want to be doing this in front of everybody, isn't that true? Isn't that right? 
And then they're going to think what? You're crazy as a June bug. Isn't that true? Tra crazy as a June bug. I have a new solution for you if you don't want to do it physically. The nice thing is that your brain is very intelligent and it learns very quickly. You can do this in your mind and it still works. So what you can do is in your mind, mentally, as if you were Yeah. So you can do it in your mind and it still works. And by the way, oftentimes it works better than you do physically. Because your mind is pretty smart. If it knows what five times five is, right? If it knows how to drive the car and get there while you're eating a sandwich and talking on your phone and you still get there and you're not remembering the drive, it can also heal you as you let it. Now sometimes you can just go like this. Peace. And it'll go away too. Because it learns very quickly. So, so now you can physically tap. You can mentally tap. Now the question is, when do you tap? All the time. When do you tap? When you're thinking about something that bothers you. When you get a phone call and you're on the phone. That's a great way to tap. They don't know what you're doing. As you're tapping, you're creating peace within your mind and you're going to operate for more power. And if you're getting ready to make a phone call for business, what do you do? And you feel the stress. Tap on it. If you're getting ready to go give a presentation, what do you do? You tap on it. If, you're, if, if your daughter calls you, if your wife calls you, if your husband calls you, if something bothers you and you're thinking about something that bothers you, what do you do?